and balancing powers. In other words, we are going to talk about the first 10 amendments to the Constitution, and we will also discuss what kind of power belong to the states and what power belongs to the federal government. So very soon after the Constitution was written, the Founding Fathers, they wrote 10 amendments about basic rights that people should have. And these first 10 amendments are called the Bill of Rights. And here you have a picture. It says Bill of Rights, Congress of the United States. So in other words, the first 10 amendments, they are called the Bill of Rights. The first amendment protects the right of freedom of speech. As you can see here uh, on this picture, People are allowed to discuss issues openly and have debates on public issues. This amendment also protects freedom of religion. So basically it says that Congress cannot limit any religious expression. So the freedom of religion means that you can practice any religion that you want or do not practice a religion at all. So this is the choice of every person. Congress cannot limit the right of people to meet peacefully. Uh, it cannot limit the freedom of press. So the First Amendment also protects people's right to petition the government to change laws that are not fair. So as here we can see on this picture, people are gathered together peacefully and they are asking government to change the laws. The Founding Fathers wanted a system where everything is balanced. So after winning the independence from the Great Britain, they didn't want the government where one ruler would be in charge of everything, the same as it was with the Great Britain and their king. Therefore, they created a system that was called uh, the system of checks and balances, where they separated the powers between three different branches, and each branch was responsible for something that the other couldn't control. Therefore, nobody would be in control of each other and there would be the balanced system that regulates the government here in America. Let's look at one of the examples. For example, the Congress is responsible for making new laws. However, whenever the law is made in Congress, after that it goes to a president and the president decides whether he's going to sign this law or he would veto this law. But even if the president signs the law, it still goes to the Supreme Court. And then the Supreme Court is deciding whether the law follows the Constitution. And in this case, it's not just one person or, or one branch of government that is responsible for making laws, but there is the whole system, the whole chain that is responsible for, let's say, making a law. The Founding Fathers created the system where the power is divided between the states and the federal government because the states didn't want all the power to belong only to the federal government, where one person would rule over the whole nation. Therefore, that power right now is divided, and the federal government is in charge of the laws that would have an impact for the whole nation, whereas uh, the state powers are those that can vary depending on the citizens of every state. And right now, let's take a look at some of the questions from our civics test. So the first question is, what do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? And the answer is the Bill of Rights. The next one, what is one right or freedom from the first amendment? 
and we were talking about different ones. So here we could just name one. So let's say it's freedom of speech. Number three, what is freedom of religion? And the answer, you can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Number four, what stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? And the answer is checks and balances. Number five, under our constitution, some power belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? And the example is to print money. And the last one, under our constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? And as an example, it could be given driver's license, since if you look at your driver's license, it would tell you the name of your state. This is the end of our lesson today. Thank you so much for being with us. Please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And uh, as usually, stay tuned and look forward to more videos from Highlands Community Charter and Technical Schools. Goodbye.